Hi guys, it's your host I'm Strong, and today I'm gonna do a voiceover for a duel between uh, Mythus Ruler and Yives. Uh, Yives is playing in blue as the Beerians, and Mythus Ruler uh, has picked the Romans. And this map is called the Persian Highlands. It has a middle with uh, metal and stone, so it's gonna be interesting how they both players will fight for 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 this for this point of the map. Um, following the suggestion of uh, Mythos Rule, I'm gonna test the, the, the developer overlay. But right now I'm just gonna do a, a quick uh, overview of both both the bases. Now it's interesting that um, Yives got a base here, but the base is not fully fully closed. I don't know what happened, but uh, um, at the times I played as the Burians and also against the players, the, the 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 base was fully closed. Maybe something is happening in the CVN. I don't know. So this is Yives. He's uh, he has built a, a farmstead already, and he's also building his first house. He also has a storehouse here. And uh, let me check Mythus. So Mythus uh, already has a farmstead already uh, close to his uh, to his berries, and he also has just built a storehouse and is setting some units to to gather wood. He's using uh, his horse to gather the chickens. This map has uh, some some animals around, some goats and some deers. And I think this uh, both these uh, these two types of animals can only be gathered with the with the horse. If you use a, a melee unit or other types of infantry, uh, the animal will just run off, and your and your unit will just uh, will be all over the map, and it just won't be able to to catch the animal. And right now I'm gonna just um, test the develop overlay. I just hit Alt D, but it didn't do nothing. Let me check this. Develop overlay. It seems that I don't have that option. I think um, I think the development team might just have uh, turned off that feature in multiplayer games. Makes sense, as we don't have yet an observer mode or, or a spec mode. And you can see that the Yives has already some some horses gathering these animals, these goats, and it's just focusing on uh, on wood and food. And it's just he it just has the picked all his bushes and is now building a, a house in the farm. Now it's interesting that we see a, here a turn feature. I think this is the farmlands. Um, I have uh, read uh, yesterday a, a topic on the forums about this and. I don't think that this will be in the game, but I think this is the texture for the farmlands. Let me check. Uh, no, just uh, no. Some farmlands here also, and here we can see that uh, the Ive is building his first house outside of his base. Uh, I don't know if this is a good move.
and you can see that uh, Mythus is just using one horse to to gather this goat here and is building several several houses and just trying to increase his population limit. And uh, he's um, relying heavily on women at this time. Yeah, if he's building his first barracks just inside his base, and you might, yep. We actually summon the player four, but he just idly just doesn't do anything. So I'm back at uh, Mythus base, and uh, is building a coral. Now the coral is an interesting uh, building. Uh, it's not yet fully implemented, but you can uh, produce animals and uh, the and the main functionality, uh, as I read on the forums about some days ago, is that you can uh, gain a little a little trinket of food. And you can also get auto garrison uh, animals here, so they don't get uh, stolen by the enemy. So it's gonna be interesting uh, to see how the development team will uh, will finish the coral and how it will integrate uh, with the, the rest of the gameplay. Now the coral is will be useful in types of maps where, for example, you don't have many space or. Uh, your population uh, numbers is very critical and y you won't need that many uh, units working on the farms and here we can Mythos is building is another another storehouse here uh, he just had another one here Uh, an interesting observation I'm making now is that the the Iberian houses are much smaller than the Romans. Let me check they got the thousand and a hundred and two hundred and uh, yep. Of course, the smaller houses have less AGP, just eight hundred. We can see that um, Yves is, is quickly expanding to the outside of the, to the outside area of his base. And Yves is um, scouting, scouting and looking up for looking out for for Mythus. You can see that Mythus is already expanding also. He's a uh, his wood production and he also has a barracks already you can see that uh, Mythu's horse has just discovered the Yive space and uh, Yive is already uh, also discover the uh, Mythus base. You can see that Maito has uh, already a substantial number of farms, but uh, Yives has more. And interesting, Yives has just built uh, a 
farm, not on a regular, regular uh, rotation as the other ones. I think I never seen that before. Now one of the tips I want to give you guys is that you can build your farms uh, a little bit inside of your of your civic center so that you if you get rushed earlier you can um, defend defend them uh, defend them more easily. In here you can see that the IFC has already uh, put a large number of units on the stone on this uh, stone mine. I think he will rely on a on a tower push, as the the defensive towers of the Berians are are strong. And let me check. Uh, for He's also putting some some units uh, on this uh, metal mine. And let me let me turn on the timestamp. We are at minute ten. And uh, my Tuz is building his first defensive tower, I think. Yep. Building up, putting up a blacksmith. And starting to gather a stone and metal. My Tuz has, has just uh, finished building an outpost here between the, the two the two bases And the Mythos is just sending one um, one status to the middle of the map to do some recognition. Now this m this uh, center has a lot of resources as you can expect from this map type. And uh, Mythos has his base uh, slightly closer to the center. And the Mythos is building an outpost in the middle. Now I think the, that this sounds um, like a good uh, a good move, but uh, if um, if Yves was uh, faster, he could uh, already have some some cavalry trying to harass um, Mythos' economy, and he w he wouldn't be able to build his outposts. You can see that Mythos is building his, his market. And I think Yves is stronger at this point. He has more farms, more units on, on, on the metal and stone. Some military movement by Nitus, and he's already building a civic center in the middle. And I've just sent some some units to help this guy out in building this uh, this civic center. And oh, I thought this was from my Eves, but now it's from Mythos also. And you can see that Eves is already going for the middle here. But it's just too late. But he has a large, uh, large army going. So I think he he will be able to push off uh, Mythos from the the center of the map. Yves' uh, number of units is so much bigger, and Yves is already at the north attacking uh, Mythos' outpost here. <coughs> 
<coughs> and if you can see that Mythos plan to build a civic center is gonna fail. Yeah, this fail. But uh, Mythos is sending. Oh, he's building another here. <coughs> Hopefully, uh, Yavis won't see that, as she will be uh, busy trying to, to destroy these outposts. <coughs> <coughs> and uh, Mythus has just sent um, another battalion of skirmishers, basically, and he's gonna f finish. I think right now he's gonna finish uh, the civic center because uh, Yavis is. Uh, it's not focusing on the on the right things right now. It's trying to destroy these outposts and just uh, not not scouting the area properly. <coughs> and here we can see that uh, Mythus is uh, building his civic center fast. And uh, also, Yavs is building his uh, third civic center up here between uh, between his base and Mythos base. Uh, Mythos has just uh, sent uh, five. Roman cavalry. But of course he won't do nothing, but he was able to, to halt this uh, civic center construction. And uh, Maithu has just uh, successfully built his uh, first civic center in the middle. Interesting to see what he will do next. Uh, I don't think he will be able to halt this. Oh, interesting. I don't know exactly if uh, Yaev Civic Center is uh, in the in uh, Mythus territory or not. Here you can see that Yaev is uh, trying to counter this attack and also sending some units to to finish this uh, this construction oh no you have just sent all the all these units to to try to fight off this and we can see that uh, nope. it seems that uh, this civic center agape is uh, is constant so it is outside of uh, Maitu's uh, territory here and I don't see Mythe is producing more units here. Mythe is already setting another force uh, up north. Unaware that... Uh, no, he's retreating. He's going up more north. Yes. But uh, Yives up north has uh, some skirmishers here working on the wood. I think uh, Mythe has just... Um, Acknowledge that uh, Yav has just built another civic center because uh, his uh, his units are inside his territory, and uh, Yav is just finishing this civic center. Yep. So both the players right now own the middle. As you can see, the middle is um, split in half. Yeah, uh, Mythus is building his first barrack in the middle. Both players are gonna fight for the middle, of course, and uh, Yaev is already gathering so much resources, while uh, Mythus is not. He also building his uh, defensive tower here, and uh, Mythus is already is also building another civic center here.
<clears throat> yeah, I'm just sending some reinforces, reinforcements to the middle. Let me check these units. Cavalry Spreeman. They can counter swordsmen and siege weapons. So they are pretty good counter to the melee units of the Romans. And Mythos is building a wall here. No. I don't think that this wall will be will be built fast enough. Because um, yeah, it's just uh, using so many so many units to gain resources here, and and Mythos is just uh, not exploring this area. <coughs> Let me check the situation up here in the north. We can see that Mythos has just finished the civic center construction here. It's gonna be hard again to to Mythos to finish off this wall because it's just gonna be so big and cost so much so much resources. While in the meantime, uh, Yives is just uh, gathering the resources and is is building a temple hill, which is which is uh, useful. You can garrison the units there and they can heal faster. Overall, I think Yives is just uh, just uh, playing better because uh, he has um, a bigger number of units uh, gathering resources. can see that Mythus uh, has uh, started um, gathering resources from the middle. Mythos is trying to uh, to build a defensive tower here, but uh, he's being arrested by by Yves Cavalry Spearman, and Yav is just uh, responding and sending some units there. Yeah, it's just to build this first uh, market. And here we can see that uh, Yav is uh, trying to destroy Maitu's uh, civic center up here in the north. And um, Maitu's is trying to, to counter this with some skirmishers. Yav is retreating again, and uh, as he gained a bit of area, I think he just uh, reached the city phase right now. His area has just increased so so much. Yep, and also Mithus, I think he has just uh, city phases right now.
And yeah, he's building this first castle in the middle. <coughs> Some harassment going on on the north. Um, um, I think this is a pretty much even no, but uh, Yavs is sending some reinforcements. Um, this is looking uh, weaker for Mythos here. But uh, his Roman swordsman are just uh, slicing through uh, Yavs uh, slingers. can see that uh, Mythus is building a castle in the, in the center. We can see that Mythos is using uh, the terrain to his advantage. He, I think he has a bonus. Uh, he has a more range, yes. Two, two bonus range. While, uh, while the EI skirmisher had less, but um, Yave has just just had um, a bigger battalion here, so. Yeah, it says here, Battalion of the Cavalry Skirmisher. Let me check. So, we are seeing in the middle a big battle going on. Mythos is trying to finish this castle, but uh, Yav is starting to harass him. And Mythos have successfully uh, built this castle here. Yav is responding and building another castle here. Uh, I think uh, Yav uh, has to be quicker because if uh, Mythus fully develops, uh, it's gonna be unstoppable as the Romans have uh, a better siege. And Mythus is just. Uh, Harassing some units here. He's also sending some woman uh, here, mistakenly. And here we can, ooh, here we can see that uh, Yav has already some some uh, some battering rams. You have just retrieved them so that they wouldn't be uh, destroyed by this by this swordsman. But uh, he's um, sending them back to the castle. I think uh, Mythus uh, needs some cavalry to counter this. Let me check up north. Here in the north, we can see that Yav is, uh, is also building a castle. Just finish it. I mean, just get back to the center. And this castle is uh, gonna be destroyed pretty soon. Uh, my troops have just... Uh, no, he was not able to to counter this attack. And uh, yeah, I have some battering rams who will continue to destroy his base. Mythus is responding and trying to build another barracks here. And Yavs is not really paying attention to these resources here. Uh, Yavs is, uh, yep. He had uh, the battering rams working on the on the walls, but he have just sent them to the 
for the city center here. I think uh, might as well lose this uh, this position. Interestingly, Mythos was able to uh, to build a castle here in, the, in this position, but I don't think he's producing any units on it. And uh, well, uh, Ive is uh, marching on. And finally, we have some cavalry by by Mythos to counter these uh, pattering rams. And uh, it's it was a pretty bad move for the Ives. Uh, just uh, advancing with the rams alone, with uh, with no backup, and they were just uh, destroyed by by Mythu's cavalry. And I think this cavalry will also slice through this battalion. Let me check the result of this. No, nope. yeah, his uh, number is uh, so much bigger. But hopefully Mythus will produce more cavalry. And we can see that Yav is already using the rams to destroy uh, Mythus buildings up in the north. Mythus here producing produced another battalion of cavalry. And here we have he's just destroying uh Yep, he's sending them sending this cavalry man to destroy the battering rams. And uh Yives uh, Yep. He had this battalion here uh, in defensive mode, but uh, he replied now. He's building another civic center here, more closer to Mythus base. And uh, it's a Gigi. Mythus has just been defeated. So... Um, connection has been lost. So I think this, ma this type of map uh, needs to be played more aggressively. Because uh, if you check earlier... Um, you will slow down the, the enemy's economy and uh, you will control you will control better the, the center of the map. Uh, in this map, in this match, we we could see that Mythus was not fully um, managing his economy well. He had some some idle wor worker units in his base, and uh, he tried to to build a wall in the center, which is kind of u useless because uh, this type of map is so fast. And uh, yeah, I was uh, able to to produce some rams and march on uh, Mythus base. Even if he had so many trash units like the slingers and the archers, uh, Mythus have just uh, started uh, building uh, 
some cavalry, but it was too late. So I'm just gonna um, check out the score. We can see that Yav has a better economy score. Let me check the units, the conquest, the resources. Yav, yep. So Yav was a better overall in all the resources. Yep, so I think I will end this uh, this video right now. Hope you guys have liked it and don't forget to subscribe to my channel because I'll be doing more of this type of videos in the future. See you guys.